Well, I want to welcome you to another edition of Papa's Garage here. We've got a little bit of work done um, that we'd like to kind of show you. I've been working on trying to tie up some loose ends. There's lots of loose ends back here. Uh, what I've done is I've, I've done some bridging in here, as you'll notice, tying this all together. Did a little bit of triangulation in here. There also eventually, I'll, there'll be a strap. It'll come down underneath the axle here. And so that'll really strengthen this up and tie this all, all together. Um, I did do, I did do, add a, a piece. I just was concerned with the strength of these auxiliary bars here on the, on the, on the arms. So I added this piece here. I, I ran this uh, through here, tied it into the cross member now. Um, I think I've you know, dramatically strengthened it. This will keep the, the frame from wanting, or the bogey boxes from, from wanting to pull out. Now they'll all be pretty much boxed in there, so it's not going to be able to get out. Um, I've also been working on the um, shock mounts. The shocks on this thing are, are down about an inch and a half below the frame now because I've dropped the bogey box down that amount. So these are these will be the, uh, this is roughed out anyway. These guys go in there with a, with a shock in the standard location. Of course, this will be whacked off and everything part of the, the, the uh, reaction arm system. Uh, I also, I uh, built the drive shaft here yesterday and brought it down and had it balanced and everything uh, today. And you can see it's it's in here. Uh, I was able to to put a connecting plate here again. When you when you notch these things out, all of this is doubled here with a uh, a plate here, uh, fish plated in here. I still wanted to make sure I had plenty of strength here. So tying this together will really strengthen it up, make it back, turn it back into a box. I've also worked on the parking brake. Um, so now you can see the you can see the rotor here that I've fashioned out of just a piece of half inch plate, and here's the here's the here's the Tesla caliper. You can see it's mounted in here, with some pretty serious mounting, um, although it's it's stronger than it's going to have to be, I would say. Um, but other than that, of course, the now the pumpkins all the all. All been put together and in, in, in its final location. Um, uh, added an uh, eighth inch pipe for the for a temperature sensor in it and everything. So this thing is all pretty much ready to go here. The axles are still, uh, they told me, 12 weeks out. Um, we had a little challenge with that. The, um, the yokes, the axles, the original Revcon axle ends. Uh, used a straight spline, uh, which the machine shop cannot reproduce. Uh, they could, can't find, they couldn't find any um, uh, tooling even to do it. So I've had to go with a, a, a different yoke. It's a finer spline, but multiple splines. It's actually a little bit smaller in diameter, it's, and it's probably something that they can build with stock on hand. So it probably is going to cut that that 12 week, 12 week lead time down. We sh I just hope so anyway. But anyway, um, I guess that's about all for today. Thanks for watching.